these are my valves obviously there's my air conditioning there's my support for air conditioning <clears throat> I took out well here let, let me tell you the problem I have a coolant leak I was doing this sweet burnout and uh, something went wrong and coolant started spilling everywhere so I located the leak it's was coming out of the valve cover it was coming out of like right over here so I took this off and I took it off obviously you see it it's off um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour more coolant down the radiator and uh, hopefully I don't break anything more than it's already broken and I'm gonna see where it's coming out from there as far as I know, it was just the gasket. There was a crappy blue gasket around here. It was all worn out. I have it over here. I didn't mow my lawn. It's this crappy blue one. It's all stretched and worn. Here's all the hardware that I had to come off. My little magnetic tray. So, what I did was, I went to AutoZone. And I got a puller. This is my power steering pump, which I did put a new one in just a month ago, and I can make a video about that if you'd like, or I could just tell people how to do it. But I put that power steering pump in, I got a new pulley, and I put the pulley on. And then you needed a special tool to do it, so I went back to AutoZone and got the tool again, because I rented it from them originally. And this is the puller, right here. So I pulled off the pulley. Obviously, you have to take it off the belt. And um, then this bracket, actually, I'll just show you. Because I have my donut truck right here. Excuse me, Sasha. Thank you. All right, let me just pop the hood here. And this, ugh, this one sucks. This is fucking disgusting inside here. Okay, so here's what it would look like fresh. I took this off. This one pretty much comes off. Because it's a piece of shit. Then, I unbolted, holy shit, this isn't even bolted down. I unbolted the air conditioner, and I un, then, after unbolting the air conditioner, I pulled off this pulley, which is the power steering pump. Power steering pump, pulley. Then there's this bracket that goes from here, holds pretty much up the, pretty much all it does is hold up the air conditioner. That bracket needs to come off because this valve cover hits this little nub. I don't know if you can see it. This is the valve cover and it hits that. You can't pull it out. The valves are too big and you can't pull it out. So that's a poor design feature. And you have to pull that out. I pulled, also you pull this out and I pulled out. Sorry about that, my phone, my iPod died. But anyway, you can't get this off without taking off this bracket and everything. So I did take it off, and I'm kind of rushing because my iPod is still almost dead. Um, so I took everything off, took off the gasket um, in there. You can't really see it. That's where it's coming out of. It's coming out of in here. See, like somebody tried to put caulking in. The person that owned the truck before me put caulking in there and didn't do a, did a temporary fix. Here, I'll try to leave this. I'll try to show you. It's a friggin' mess in here. I don't know if you can see anything. So watch that. I just, I just blew in the radiator. So, I mean, that's pretty bad. That, I lost all my coolant like an, 
15 minutes through there. Um, so I'm just going to do the same temporary fix, and then next weekend, because it's Sunday right now, I'm going to fix the whole thing. So I'll let you know how everything goes. Hello, YouTube. I join you on this beautiful October day here in New England. Uh, some strange noise in the distance. No idea what that is. Anyway, so my truck is now fixed. I fixed it. Not by myself. My dad helped me because he's a friggin' genius when it comes to automotive things. Not really a genius, but he knows what he's doing. Um, so I spray painted this black, the water pump. I did explain the water pump correctly, but I had other problems. I had the intake manifold gasket blue, all right? So this is the manifold, this black part, and then you have the lower manifold, which is the metal part, and yours is probably black metal. Mine is not black metal, though. If you can see it, it is shiny new metal because I put a new one on, a new intake manifold. Now, I didn't necessarily need a new intake manifold because that's like $400. But, see this? This is a heater hose right here. This fitting, right in there, where my pinky is. That fitting goes right into the intake manifold, right? So on the old one, took this fitting, put the wrench around it, braced myself for the turn, Turned it, not with much force, and it just snapped off. Alright, so you have a major problem because that's threaded in there. So you need to get that off. So what me and my dad did was we took it easy out. I have the old manifold back here. Took an easy out. Put it in and tried to get it out. And this is what resulted. We cracked the intake manifold. This is the thermostat. This is the front, obviously. This is the back. Distributor goes in there. We cracked it, all right? And that's cast aluminum, and you shouldn't weld cast aluminum. Very, very bad, all right? So, we bought a new one. My dad bought it, because he was the one using the easy out at the time. Glad I wasn't. And we threw that on. Um, let's see. You have to take off just about everything. Everything that you see has to come off. Air conditioner, not the, the not the alternator. Air conditioner, um, air intake, all the wiring, which is the biggest pain in the ass. You have to unclip. You have to take off the power steering pulley again. Power the AC bracket. Um, you don't have to take the water pump off, but we did because we redid it anyway. You have to take um, both valve covers off to do a nice good fit when you're putting it on and um, that's about it um, for having to take off I'm mainly just making this clip to just sum up that my truck's fixed and it's not what I thought um, if you have any questions about the intake manifold and putting a new one on I can answer those and if requested I will make a video but it won't be very good because you I can't really show you anything because it's such an intuit project but um other than that, she runs fine. You probably noticed I don't have a fan on there. That's because the threads on my old fan, you probably saw it in the bed of my truck, are no good. So I need to get a new fan, but it's fine without it. It's normal temperature. My dad, my dad locked the keys in the car when I was at football. Busted the handle off, so I need to get a new one of those. But other than that, she's fixed and running and beautiful. All right. So I'll upload this now. Thank you for watching, and again, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them.